Hey there, I'm James Moore with Ideal Calibrations, and today we're going to be looking at replacing the sensors in the Altair 4X. Now, this guy will also work if you have a 4XR or a 4. Now, they're pretty similar. Uh, the 4 uses different sensors, but that said, let's get right into it. We got four screws on the back here. I'm going to unscrew those. And since we're going to be replacing today is an oxygen sensor, but you can, you re can replace one, you can generally replace any of them. So one special function to remember about the oxygen sensor, and I'll remind you at the end as well, but once you install it, you need you to wait for about 45 minutes to an hour before you go and try and zero and calibrate it. <clears throat> and then anytime you replace a sensor on one of these units, you want to make sure that you do a zero and a calibration afterwards. And I've got videos on that as well. You can probably find them at our channel. All right, and we got the four screws out of the back here. You can leave this one on the clip here. You just pull it apart. Sometimes this will stick. Uh, so if you need to, just come in from the side with a really, really small flathead and crack it apart. But just make sure you don't bust this plastic inside so don't use too much force, okay? All right, now we got it open. We've got a couple of sensors here. This one here on the right, this is your oxygen sensor. You can tell it's gonna be a green color. This is your LEL sensor, catalytic bead cell. And this one here, you can see it's black and gray. And let's get that back in there. And here, the purple cell, that is our CO and H2S sensor. You can see the activated charcoal there for the CO sensor. Okay, now we're gonna replace this. It's pretty simple. You just grab our sensor here, open it up. Take out the packing material. Don't, don't eat the desiccant pack. And then we take our O2 sensor out here. Try not to touch the tops of these if you can. Now sometimes, ooh, and I haven't opened this unit yet, this one looks like it is a little stuck, so this might actually be a problem. I'm gonna take these two sensors out here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in real time. So now, I'm going to unscrew this, and now, I'm not going to take this part of the screen out. I just don't want anything in here to screw me up. So, I'm just going to take these screws, loosen them up first. If I have to get in there and pry, I don't want to be pushing against screws. Okay, now let's take another look here. Let's see if we can get this one out. You can see the board's actually pulling away a little bit before this will. So my bet is that this sensor is very, very badly corroded. So I'm gonna take a couple tools here. I'm gonna walk you guys through this. So here, I've got a little gap. I'm gonna try and just pry it up a little bit. Now I want you to be very careful here. This can absolutely destroy the board. If you pull too hard, it can break the sockets on there. This is pretty obviously a sensor that has leaked and has gotten some electrolytic fluid on the board. And one thing you'll find, here we go with these units, is when that goes on, on these cells, it can really ruin the board and you might it might never function again. So, if this happens and you can't get it off, you want to check if you're under warranty, number one. And if you are, you'll want to send it in to a repair center that can help take care of this for you. Okay, now you can see I'm, I'm levering this up and it's still not coming out. That means one of these pins has a lot of the acid inside on there. And I'm just trying to work that a little bit more. Wow. So if you've been in this predicament before, or if this is your first time, this is how you do it. Now, look at that. I don't know if you can see in there. But you can see this pin here is burned. Real burned. So this means that this sensor got, uh, it just died. And you can see some of the fluid here underneath. And what this tells me, when you see damage like this, it's time to replace this unit. Uh, you can't really replace the board on these guys. MSA can do it for you if you want to send it into them. Uh, they just charge you a, a 
flat fee. But honestly, with how much these things cost in the market, right now I would just say, hey, it is time to get a new unit here. This sensor, you need to replace this sensor, and who knows if these other two work. We haven't tested it, but this is a good sign uh, that it's time to replace this unit. You know, one thing I want to edit in here is to avoid this type of damage, when your O2 sensor dies, get it out of there immediately or send it into a repair shop immediately. You don't want to sit around and wait. It's, it's another reason also that you should keep calibrating these units once a month, just to check and make sure they're working properly, make sure you're handling them, because the last thing you want is to go to do a job, you turn the unit on, the sensor's dead, you send it in, the board is now dead, now you're waiting on a new unit. Uh, you don't want to have to deal with that. So, you know, make sure you check these things out once a month and you make sure that if they have an O2 sensor or any other sensor that dies, you get the sensor out of there immediately or get the unit out the door. All right, thanks. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Well, hey, not what I expected to do here on this video. Uh, expected to tell you I could show you how to replace this. Now, if this hadn't been burned like this, we would just take the cell, pop it back in there, turn it, you know, wait an hour for it to stabilize and then turn it back on and calibrate. But now we're going to pull this unit from the field and uh, you just know that it's a bad one. But now we've all learned something. So if you have any questions about this, uh, about what to look for when you're replacing these sensors, you know, feel free to give us a call. We're happy to help. Our website is www.idealcalibrations.com. My name is James Moore and you can call us here at 734 956 and uh, stay safe out there and don't let this happen to your units. Thanks. Bye-bye.